my first reaction was, I don't want to do this. You know, what is this? The boy is crying all the time. My friends will call me a girl in school. So I didn't want to do it. I uh, faced the camera for the first time uh, one week before my second birthday. So very, very long ago. Uh, famous photographer Gautam Rajadaksh, uh, who is uh, sadly no more. He was well acquainted with my parents. You know, he used to, they used to meet at the park and all that regularly. So one day, my parents took me in the, in the stroller and uh, he saw me and said, uh, you know, he was like, Oh, this baby is so cute. You know, can I come over and click some pictures for this baby tonic? So my mom said, yeah, sure. Come over. We'll, you know, chat, have a cup of tea and take some. And he took a few rolls of me and then they, they used one for uh, one of the ads. And that's how I started doing print ads as a baby. And then, then I got into TV commercials as well around the age of five or six. One of them got very popular, Nutramul, for this product called Nutramul, where I'm like dressed in a black belt outfit and doing karate or something. So I think uh, Devi, that the producer, his family, his daughter saw that ad and uh, they were making Masum at the time and then she showed the ad to Shekhar Kapoor. And uh, from what I know, Shekhar really like thought this is the kid I want. And he, you know, they called up my parents and then Shekhar came to meet uh, them and you know, that's how it started. My first memories of Shekhar Kapoor walking into my uh, flat in, in Mumbai, in South Bombay, when we, where we were staying, and he explained the story to my parents and to me. I was, I was already in my pajamas because he came in the night. I remember. I remember very clearly. He had a Sony cassette of uh, one of the songs was recorded, Tutse Naraz Nahi, with Anup Goshal ji sang. So he played that for us and everything, and explained the story very simple terms to me. And you know, and my mom wasn't very keen about this whole film thing, and. Uh, but my dad was because, you know, Shekhar was a very well-educated, uh, you know, person. He was a very polished man and he had such a nice story. And it wasn't run of the mill. It was Gulzar Saab's uh, script and R.D. Berman's music and uh, Nasir and Shabana, Shabana Ji, Nasir Ji, uh, Saeed Jafri. You know, very, uh, those days what he used to call parallel cinema kind of thing, which had a lot of credibility. Um, so, uh, you know, I, my first reaction was, I don't want to do this. You know, what is this? The boy is crying all the time. My friends will call me a girl in school. So I didn't want to do it. But uh, Shekhar became really friendly with me. Everyone went out of the way to make us three children, you know, feel good. तेरी बातों में ये तुम पास आए यूं मुस्कुराए The early uh, 2000s I did one very big show called Karishma uh, with a lot of uh, film actors in it and it was I mean it was nice it was a big big budget TV show and stuff but it, I mean it wasn't the it's not the most fun you know you're like uh, deadlines are too much and it's a daily soap so you're, you're knocking off like 10-12 scenes a day you don't know the script you're giving it to it on you know given the script and lines on the on the morning so not the I mean that's how it is you can't uh, either you accept it or don't do it. So, I didn't do too much. After that, I did a few projects for TV, but mostly like short stints. First book came out in 2017. It was actually my script for my animation film, which I 
since that didn't get made some years later i decided to write it as a novel it was more like a fun thing I wrote it out and then you know it got published I got really encouraged to write another one i so around the time my son was born i was uh, kind of not working much at that time i was just you know taking care of my wife and newborn baby and i had the time i was like you know at home taking care of my a newborn and i started writing you know whenever he would go to sleep i would open my laptop and i had this whole story started to form in my head and i had enjoyed writing the first one but this was much more ambitious it was a very layered story and with a very strong positive message which i wanted to give to the readers